My first impression of Jordan's script was that it did such an incredible job of keeping the suspense and actually it was quite frightening to go through. Uh, I remember really immediately investing in the family dynamic and relating to it because he writes a very uh, relatable all-American family and everything seems normal but you can tell from the details like uh, the, the, the imagery, the metaphor that danger looms and I was really impressed by that. At the heart of it, it is a story about an all-American family pursuing the American dream. And uh, along the way, uh, things start to go really awry in surprising ways. And their commitment to the American dream is challenged from, you'd think that it was challenged from outside, but it's actually challenged from within. So oftentimes we feel that the monster is from outside of ourselves, you know, it's, they're from um, outside our borders and, you know, outside our homes. But in this story, the monster is really within um, our very selves. And it's about embracing that, you know, or at least recognizing it. I discovered that the best thing to do is, was to always shoot the dominating uh, character in the scene first, because then I could bank that and react appropriately. Um, as the other character. And then Jordan, I mean, he does such a good job of mimicking <laughs> both Adelaide, especially Adelaide Long, and he really got a kick out of that. And, but it was helpful for me because I didn't have to watch playback and I could, I could just focus on the role I was playing in that moment. Winston and, and I have known each other since graduate school. We went to school together. And so we've had a friendship, uh, a relationship since then, and we're very close. It's like, you know, we're, we're extremely, extremely close. We, we, we bicker like siblings, you know. <laughs> we're like an old couple. And uh, so there was that comfort, knowing that, He's someone that I trust personally and also someone's artistry that I really admire and respect. Of course, we'd had this short stint together in this little film called Black Panther as well. But this was the first time that we really got to work together uh, and to be seen partners. And it was full trust. Jordan Peele is one of the best communicators I have ever met. He well, he walks everyone through what's going on. I had extensive conversations with him before shooting, and he was always very, very open and just uh, communicative about what he was looking for, very specific, um, but at the same time, compassionate and calm. I mean, Jordan is a calm director. And to see that and then to have to visit the madness of his mind at the same time, which is anything but calm, <laughs> you know, is just astounding. At the core of it, I think it's about this duality of self, you know, that in Adelaide, there is a mother, but there's also a monster, you know, that we discover. And can we, do we have to choose between one or the other, or are we both? Are we capable of being both a thing and its opposite? And what happens when we choose to reject that thing? And what happens when we embrace it? 